I think there's always that Midwestern work ethic that you've heard about. Because I grew up in a family of nine, it was honed even more because we had to work. We, we were poor. My family was very poor. We, we didn't have food in the house. I lived off of a gravel road. <laughs> we didn't even have a house number. A couple times a uh, winter, we would wake up at like 6 a.m. and we would go out and have to split wood and cut wood in order to heat our home. During that time when I lived out in the country, I remember having a, um, a really tight, close moment with God. I saw a plane flying over and it was really tiny. And I thought to myself, someday I'm gonna be on a plane doing something. And I had this, this God moment where it was almost like God said to me, you are going to be on a plane. You're going to go places. You're gonna do something big. You and I have a rendezvous with destiny. Ronald Reagan was my hero and he is the reason that I registered the day I turned 18 as a Republican. I look at that college degree at the University of Iowa. It wasn't an Ivy League school, but I worked hard for every single course I took and worked my way through college. Working as a janitor in a drug treatment center where people are coming straight from prison to go through drug treatment. I learned how to use the big floor waxer. I mean, I can, I can run a janitorial crew very well. I started my career at the same station that Ronald Reagan was at. I got my first on-air job, and I was there for about a year and a half, and I got a call from Phoenix. And let's go to Kerry Lake. I am taking you along here in Arizona. And I just fell in love with Arizona. And the people fell in love with me, too. Kerry Lake, known in Arizona as a charismatic newscaster. He's a lion. Hear him roar. A staple on Phoenix TVs for more than two decades. This was back when people did tune in. They tuned into the news at five. It was based on trust and friendship. I felt so blessed having a 27-year career covering this beautiful state and the great people of Arizona. And I, I treasured my career and that job. It meant the world to me for all of those years. But like so many Arizonans, and frankly, so many Americans, I woke up to a lot of reality during COVID. I realized that there was an agenda being pushed by the media. And this, this is, is extremely, extremely dangerous, dangerous to our democracy. democracy. And I didn't want to be part of that agenda. I know this job has gone from being a job I love to feeling like it was unethical and biased to being completely immoral. The hang up for me was walking away from a big salary. I remember um, sitting at my, at my desk in my office and I just was praying to God about it. And I took the Bible and I just opened it up. First Timothy chapter six, verse seven. You bring nothing into this world and you take nothing out of this world. And I remember getting the message loud and clear. Okay, message received, God, I got it. You want me to go? And right then and there, I decided I'm leaving my career. I don't like the direction it's going. And I wake up the next morning and my phone was practically hot to the touch. Many people said, you've given me the courage. You've given me the strength to show that kind of courage. And all of those thousands, literally tens of thousands of messages, one common thread that I kept getting from the people of Arizona was, would you please consider running for office? Okay. The next governor of Arizona, Harry We are a red state. We are a Wild West state. And we demand common sense, not communism. It can go right back across to California. We don't want it. It's funny, I think that job, janitor, might be the job that prepares me most for politics. If you want to keep pushing propaganda, your days are numbered. Because the people don't like what you guys are peddling. I'm not afraid of the fake news. I'm not afraid of the globalists. It is no longer the party of warmongers. Wake up, Joe. We will rip them to shreds before they get their hands on our kids. We're going to lift everybody up. We will never stop fighting for the unborn. Gary Lake is strong. I'm not afraid of the cartels. Arizona, we got to save ourselves. Day one, we declare an invasion on our southern border. There will be no mandates and no lockdowns to restore quality of life to Arizona. For our students, after 10th grade, they decide if they're going to go to college or learn a trade and be able to get the jobs that are out there. I will be working for you. You will be the boss. Arizona, I love every one of you. God bless State 48. Maybe God is tapping me on the shoulder, saying, this is what I freed you up for. This is what I freed you up for. 
We, we can't wait to see what you do when you grow up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be just like you. Oh!